Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today I'm back at my bedside table and I thought I would do a video showing off my magical girl wand and a transformation item collection. I thought this would just be quite fun as over the past couple of years my collection has grown quite a bit and I thought it would be interesting to show you guys and just tell them um, where I bought them and also um, be able to demonstrate them to you guys as well. By no means like my collection is not huge um if you know pixie locks aka jillian her collection is incredibly impressive and i can only aspire to have a collection like hers one day so if you would like to go see um another video similar to this then make sure to go check out her channel so i have a few magical girl wands as well as some like compact transformation style items so i'm going to start with those first and the first one being is this, and this is the new Sweets Compact from Precure Kira 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 Mold. I'm pretty rubbish at pronouncing any of like the names, so <laughs> apologies there. I got this on my recent Japan trip last month, and I found this in I believe it was in the Alabi store in Shinjuku that was just across from my hotel, and that sells a lot of like toys and games, and they had a Precure section, so I found this and it's i uh, have to say out of all of like the compact items this is probably one of my favorites i just really like the whole sweets theme in this series and it's just really really cute so it's got like a little birthday cake symbol on here and then the p for pretty cure and then this is the side and the bottom and then if we open it up here here it is <laughs> Here it is in all its glory, and you can also see my dung cat dungarees that I'm wearing today. Yep, it's got a tiny mirror, and then this is like the main sort of compartment bit, if you will. And along with this, um, in the set that I bought, you can buy the compact on its own, and you can, or you can buy it like I did with the like little insert things. Ugh, I really can't remember what these are called, so I'm really, really sorry, but each of the Precure get one of these and I have a feeling they'll probably collect more in this series. I've got on a bit behind on watching it, so I need to catch up. And as well as those, you get the little tiny baton thing used to mix it up. So this is Cure Whips. She puts in there, it's like a bunny. Ugh, I love these, these are just too, too cute. And I love how detailed they are. This is Cure Galatos. She's also infused with a lion. They're just absolutely adorable. Cure Macarons, and she's also infused with a cat. And I have to say, she is one of my favourites in the series. This is Cure Custard. This is super cute as well. And I believe she's also infused with a squirrel. And then, last but not least, we have Cure Chocolat. It was also infused with a bear. I just can't get over how adorable they are. As for the demonstration side of things, I was so stupid, right? I got back from, from Japan and then I was like, okay, I need some batteries to put inside this. I got batteries, however, then I realized I didn't have a small enough screwdriver. It wasn't until like a week or so later, I realized that there's this tiny little thing that says open and like in the way that Tamagotchis do, all you do is you press something into this tiny hole here and it just pops open and then you put the batteries in there. So yeah, I felt incredibly stupid because for ages I hadn't been able to put any batteries in. But anyway, now I have some in, I can demonstrate to you how it works. So if we turn it on to side A. Ta -da, and this bit lights up, it's so cool. So I'll put in Cure Whips. So it just slots in here. And then you can That's um cure whips. And then you can select different modes from here. And then this is honestly so cool to do. Can we just appreciate the colour changing down there? Also, it appears to make it look like it is colour changing on camera, but it's really not. That's really strange. Ah, I probably am slightly crazy for um, 
buying these plastic light up toys at the age of 21 but i don't know they just make me very happy um i'm only going to show like some of the very basic demonstrations on each of them otherwise i'm going to be here for a while so if you want any more in-depth for like any of the items individually then please tell me and i can make a video for them as for that that was the sweets compact and the next one I'm going to show you guys is the Go Princess Precure Perfume. I also got this on my recent trip to Japan and I've wanted this one for so long. If you don't know, Go Princess Precure is my current favourite Pretty Cure series out of all of them. And I have another one of the ones as you'll see. But I wanted this like as well for ages and because it's getting older, like the prices on eBay are really stupid because of shipping and customs. So I just hadn't ever bothered to buy it. But then I stumbled across a entire Magical Girl shop in Nakano Broadway. I don't know how I didn't find this shop last time. Um, I believe it was on like the third or fourth floor. It was kind of tucked away, I think. But um, you can't miss it. And it's full of Pretty Cure, um, Sailor Moon, um, Creamy Mommy items. Just lots of secondhand items. And yeah, this was secondhand, but it honestly looks new. Um, I got it for 2,000 yen, which is I thought was incredible price, considering like it's I don't know if they're in still in, in production or what, but I mean the series is a few years old now. And so you get in the box, you get the perfume itself, and then you get one key to put inside it. I think you can buy more keys. So you know I might look on eBay and see if I can find any going for a decent price. This is just the side of the perfume, and then the back. This one I did need a screwdriver to open it with, so thankfully I had the one the right size. And then this bit will twist out. Oh, it's still open, it's still on, whoops. That was a massive mistake, oh well. So, let's get to demonstrating. And then you go put the key in here. This makes me so happy. You have no idea. Ah, that makes me so happy. And then another cool thing, if you press like the little button on the top here, like the perfume will go down, which I think is a really cool um, extra feature and then if I refill it and then if I more elegant that was really bad um, wait how do I get it to there we go there we go there we go yeah for some reason it keeps doing that so I still need to um, play about with this one more to figure out everything it can do because it's still in Japanese and a lot of them have like games on them but it's quite hard to work out what I'm meant to do so I still need to work that out but other than that I am very very happy to have this one and I shall just put it back on the display there and now we are going to move on to my wand collection and I think we'll start with the Go Princess Precure Rod now this can't actually fully fit on the frame to be honest, I don't think. I might have to just move the camera back a little bit so you can see it. So this is the Go Princess Precure Rod. I got this for my birthday, was it last year? I think it was last year off eBay. Um, I was just like, Dad, can I have this? And then he just got it for me off the eBay listing. I think I got any customs on it, which is good. It's pretty big, as you can see it can barely fit in the shot. <laughs> And if I just take the key out here and put that back there. Also with it I got, well this is the rose key. This is Cure Flora's key. Again I love how detailed they are, they're absolutely stunning. I believe this is the ice key. Sorry if I get any of these names wrong, it's been a while. And then this is Cure Twinkle's key which I can't remember what it's over the life of me but anyway you get these three keys to put in it and again you can buy more keys um, which I'm really bothered doing to be honest oh it, it looks like really set up like that so yeah this is the rod this is the front bit oh it's so pretty 
And then if we just turn it on here. Oh, that's B, do to A. Okay, and if we put. And then if we put. And then if we just put the floor here. Whoa! And then. I'm trying to remember how to, how to work this now, actually. Hmm. There we go. I walked it out. And there's somebody coming upstairs. Completely ruined the shop. That's really loud. I'm sorry about the door slamming. You can hear everything in this place from my room. But yes, that was the Go Princess Precure rod. And yes, we have another pretty cure item. This is from Mahou Tsukai Pre Cure, which was the series that aired last year. I again got this on my trip to my last trip to Japan last April, and I got this from Kitty Land. Um, yeah, Kitty Land sells a lot of pre cure stuff if you are in Japan. So that is the main place that I did get it. Um, yep, this is not the transformation item. This is the like again the attack battle item. And it comes with, if I can remember how to pop it out, it just pops off if you press this button on the back here. And get that out. I can't go to, how do I get this out? Oh my gosh. There we go. So yeah, it comes with, it also comes with a hut on which I believe is for Cure Magical or Cure Miracle. I can't remember which around they go. But yeah, this is the one that was just in there. So let's have a little demonstration. I'm hoping the battery still work because I'm not turned it on quite a while there we go and this will tell me which one it is if I can insert it properly because I failed everything that's the wrong way around wonder that's cure magicals oh Yes, you can buy extra link. There we go. Wow, these are always very loud. I'm just gonna switch that off. But yes, you can buy extra lingual stones again to insert in there, but I just haven't done so because I don't really see the need to. So yes, that was the Maho Tsukai Precure wand. And last, but certainly not least, we come to my favourite magical item that I own, and it is the beautiful Sailor Moon Proplica Moon Stick. I always get so many questions about this whenever it's fe featured in pictures, and I got this for Christmas back in 2014, so a few years ago now. I believe I found it on Amazon for about £70. I don't know how much they will cost these days, but they are quite hard to get. It's been a couple of years since they came out. I always say never buy them at cons because they're way, way overpriced. And not just this, but like anything at cons, especially figures are just so overpriced. And as well as the music itself, it does come with this very handy stand. And I just use that to sit it on top of my wardrobe. Not gonna lie, it's fallen down a few times, but I don't know, it just looks really cool and like majestic up there. Sadly, this hasn't got any working batteries in it, so I can't show you. But yeah, I don't have any other batteries and didn't really want to go buy new ones. But yeah, this is, I'll just show you some close-ups. I have to say it's, I think I appreciate this more just for the way it looks. I just love like the, the finish on the handle and just how beautiful and sparkly it is it's just absolutely gorgeous and i'm so happy to have this i really really want to get like chibi styles wand um 
rod, the spiral heart moon rod, I, I believe. They all have such weird, com complicated names, and I constantly get them mixed up. But I still really want to get one of those, but they're just so expensive to buy. And I think the precure ones are a little less expensive, and hence why I tend to go for those over the proplica ones. But yeah, I'm just so happy to have these, and I hope I can click more Sailor Moon Transformator transformation items in the future so that was it for my magical girl wand four slash transformation item collection i hope you enjoyed this tell me down below in the comments if you also like to collect these two and which ones are your favorite other than that if you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe before you go and i will see you all next time bye guys